So the World Health Organization and the UK former Prime Minister Gordon Brown are warning that the world is complacent on <coughs> COVID. And um, I would love your thoughts on this because most of the media are somewhat moved away now from CV19 and more now into Putin and Ukraine and Russia and, and war. And um, I was having a chat with a billionaire yesterday who actually advises governments, speaks to Rishi and Boris on the phone. And um, he had a, a recovery plan for <coughs> COVID. And he felt in the um, initial stages, lockdown 1.0, that you, the vulnerable should have been locked down, the carers should have been paid double, and everybody else should have used their natural immunity and, and got on with life. Let me know what you think now that we can look back retrospectively. But um, I think it's important to still talk about these issues because Gordon Brown has warned that the world risks sleepwalking into new variants. Uh, Bill Gates has believed that new strains and new variants could be worse than previous pandemics. Um, and the World Health Organization certainly thinks that the world has become complacent towards <coughs> Uh, and I'd love to know what you think, by the way. Please do let me know what you think. Please do let me um, hit the share button um, and let's get this discussion going with as many people as possible. As Sim has just said that the danger has gone. Um, um, I must be honest, um, the thousands and thousands of people who've commented on the millions of views that I've had on these subjects, most people have said that the variant was essentially a cold and that they didn't know anyone who died of it. Of course, there was this political spin of died of versus died with. And there's a huge difference between died of and died with. Um, so Gordon Brown um, was speaking before an international <coughs> summit. By the way, I can't even say the word. Otherwise, they independently fact check my content. Um, and he said that the world has become complacent about the virus um, at the, at the moment, Congress are trying to approve but have failed to get key funds for the global pandemic response. Bill Gates is pushing for the germ team, you know, this um, pandemic response team to have control, um, you know, over maybe border controls and um, wearing masks and future lockdowns, etc. And um, he's proposed that on his website, by the way. Um, and Gordon Brown, the ex-UK um, Prime Minister, is a World Health Organization ambassador. And he says that only 11% of people have been vaccinated in low-income countries and they set a target of 70%. So the concern seems to be especially for low-income countries. Um, Ian has said here, here that he knows plenty of people that died of it. Please share your experience, Ian. As you know, I'm very much keen for you to all experience, uh, share your experiences. Um, you, you know, I, um, I do not delete you or, um, <laughs> you know, cancel you if you have a different opinion to me. I always like you to share your experience and research, by the way. For, so, um, you know, we've got some opposing views here. This is interesting that um, Ian has said, I know plenty of people have died of it. Yet Cheryl has said it never even existed. We're being poisoned from the water and the chemtrails and it's all a lie. So I'd love your thoughts. I think it's really important to keep discussing this so, and, and, and embrace both sides of the discussion. That's why I fought for not cancelling Joe Rogan when he had non-mainstream scientific views on <coughs> vaccines and <coughs> lockdowns and <coughs> viruses. Um, OK, so Gordon Brown quotes, tragically, we are sleepwalking into the next variant and political leaders are still not listening to the medical advice that is still there, that we've got to increase <coughs> vaccination. We've got to continue to test at a high level and provide the new treatments available. Wow. I mean, that's a pretty strong statement. Let me know what you think about that. And also, please do share this video um, because <laughs> have we fully dealt with this? Did we... Did we over intervene before with lockdown one, two and soft lockdown three? 
Um, or are we being complacent and just moving on to focusing on wars and other political issues? And of course, at the moment, you know, um, the elections uh, and have we become complacent? Complacent, I think it's something really important to talk about. The World Health Organization certainly feels like, um, you know, we've become complacent uh, around <coughs> COVID, um, as does Gordon Brown. I would love to know your thoughts. Um, I was talking to John Caldwell yesterday, you know, a billionaire who's a Tory donor. And, you know, he did advise the government. So they, they, they sought out his advice on things like the furlough scheme, etc. I initially thought the furlough scheme was quite good because, you know, it enabled employers to continue um, to run or at least have their business survive through lockdown. Um, but I actually wasn't pro-lockdown. I was anti-lockdown. Uh, John Caldwell said that he believed that the vulnerable should have been locked down and then nurses paid double to care for them around the clock. And then everyone else should have carried on as normal and used their natural immunity. He believes that the natural immunity and supplementing um, is actually uh, proven to be um, more effective than any kind of <coughs> vaccine. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, hit the share button. Let me know what you think. Is Gordon Brown right? Have we become complacent to um, future variants? And are we sleepwalking into another um, potential pandemic? Um, or did we over intervene? Did the government over intervene with the lockdowns? And should we have just used natural immunity? And should we continue to use natural immunity? Would love to know your thoughts. The World Health, Health Organization is continuing to warn us and um the World Health Organization and Bill Gates and Gordon Brown seem to think we're not really listening and we're not really taking it seriously. Bill Gates believed there could be many more variants and more virulent strains and that the future pandemics could be worse. And he's trying to assemble a team to manage these on an ongoing basis. Let me know what you think in the comments. I certainly feel like the government need to do more to support the economy, more to support the small businesses. They should be reducing taxes. They should be increasing subsidies and support to fuel up the economy, to increase extra employment, for research and development, to create new products and services, to start and scale businesses, to create jobs and to uh, you know, kickstart that economy uh, again. Um, and I don't think they're doing anywhere near enough. I think they're overtaxing. Um, so they're over intervening in that regard um, and they're under intervening where maybe, you know, trillion dollar corporations avoid their corp tax or oil companies like Shell can triple their profits. Yet they don't uh, impose windfall taxes um, and, and wealth taxes for the trillions that are made in profit. They seem to sort of go for the working class, the middle class. And the small business owner. And to me, that seems really wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whew, crazy times. Hit the share button. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.